please give a rousing applause to Mr. Alonzo Bowden. Traffic is back. You know what I'm saying? You just had took hours to get. I left yesterday. <laughs> I live in the valley. I left early yesterday. I got here 15 minutes before the show. I don't know, but I just get mad in trap. There are certain cars I hate. You know, if you, if you drive a Tesla, we ain't friends. We ain't friends. I'm so sick of Tesla drivers. Like they act like they all like you got a Tesla. That that's just a Prius driver that made it. I ain't impressed with your little battery operated car. Remember pandemic traffic? I I love pandemic traffic. Right? There was nobody on the freeway. Like I don't know about you. Whatever freeway I was on, that was my speed limit. I did 101 on the 101. I did 110 on the 110. I got on the 405. I was like, I'm going to try. I got pulled over too, man. Cop pulled me. You know how they, they just walk up on the car. You know how fast you were going? All I did was, <coughs> he was like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Remember the pandemic? People forget, man, we got a short memory. People forget now, right? Every, everybody acts like it's always been normal. People using toilet paper like it's always been there. You know what I'm saying? I remember times was hard. We was lining up for single ply. Now people just spinning the roll with quilted. Just, yeah. Plenty more where that came from. Spin the roll. Oh, man. It was, it was man. We learned a lot. We learned a lot during COVID. Things you took for granted, things that used to bother you were good. I mean, sitting at the house bored. But I don't know about you. I was so bored when my phone rang and it said scam likely. I couldn't wait to answer that call. I was like, I got someone new to talk to. What kind of scam you got? What, you want to extend my car warranty? Well, yeah, let's talk for a while. Strange time, man, strange time. New excuses came out of COVID, right? They never should have told us that you could have COVID and no symptoms. Because that's the perfect excuse for not going to work. <laughs> right, my man, right? You just call the boss, you'd be like, hey, man, I, I tested positive. <laughs> so you sound all right. Yeah, it's that no symptoms, but I'm not. <laughs> I, you've had COVID 15 times. That vaccine ain't no good, man. I, I had the Johnson and Johnson. I don't know. I... <laughs> it was strange. We were home too much during the pandemic. Everybody was home. People got angry, right? And people got on edge. Parents, parents got edgy. They sent the kids home. Had to homeschool the parent, homeschool the kids, right? Suddenly, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Became a real question. <laughs> Parents are like, man, this fifth grader pretty smart. Huh? <laughs> Everybody was mad during the pandemic, right? Black History Month, right? Which I like Black History Month because to me it's white guilt month. <laughs> I just walk up to random white people and be like, give me some money. You know why. <laughs> people got mad during the pandemic, right? Black Lives Matter. What you mean by that? We picked the three simplest words we could find. Huh? I don't know which part of this confused you. Right? But people got mad because they didn't hear black lives matter. What they heard was white lives don't matter. That's what they, but that's not what we're saying. It has nothing to do with white lives. It had to do with black lives being taken by the police and looking for justice. It had nothing to do with white people. Like, if I say save the whales, I ain't saying screw the dolphins. <laughs> Right? I'm just saying the cops seem to be killing a lot of whales, huh? <laughs> I don't know. So what, what else? Valentine's Day coming up. That's, that's, everyone thinks Valentine's Day is for women. That's a man's holiday. Men created Valentine's Day. It was their last chance to get it right after they screwed up Christmas. 
I'm like, man, I got to get her something or it's going to be six more weeks of winter. <laughs> I don't do it, man. I'm not, I'm not the relationship guy. I'm not, usually I break up early, usually right around October. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't think this is working out. <laughs> I'm check back with you in April. <laughs> get through this holiday period. I'm not, I'm not a relationship guy. I don't, women, women don't learn that. Ladies, I'm, I'm going to tell you something about men, right? Follow your instincts. If your instincts, like if you see a man and he's broken, you ain't going to fix him. You know, women always think, oh, I can make him better. No, you can't. I know, because they try it with me. <laughs> I've never been married. Like, never, I'm a walking red flag. Oh, I'll be different. Like, no, you won't. Better than you have tried. It's me. I'm a problem. I can't. That marriage is hard. Man, you know how hard it is to be married? This is how hard it is to be married. Tom Brady, okay, <laughs> was married to a supermodel, arguably one of the most beautiful women on earth. And not just beautiful, the woman was worth $400 million. He's married to the most, the ultimate combination of, of beauty and money. And they said, Tom, do you want to go home to your wife? Or do you want to go on the football field and get pounded into the ground by 300-pound men? And Tom said, when's practice? I'll be right there. That's how hard it is to be married. So happy Valentine's Day, and I love you guys, and keep laughing. I'm Alonzo Bowden. Thank you, guys. One more time for Alonzo Bowden.